So I woke up and this is my hair. What the f- Hey guys, welcome back. It's Groovy Tony. Smash like, smash subscribe, ring the bell, and comment below because I'm here for your entertainment. Y'all, lockdown got me feeling crazy. Crazy. Look at this hair. I look crazy. My skin looks insane. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Coronavirus needs to end because I'm over this shit. I need to go buy some more products. I look like fucking Sora. I look like Sora. That's what I look like right now. That's crazy. And you know there's some brown people shit. White people don't gotta go to bed worried about their head turning into dreadlocks when they sleep on a pillow. Yeah, I don't know that damn pain. <laughs> I mean, thank God I have a wall of fucking wigs. Y'all, even though I'm out of my Carol solder, I'm gonna go in to fix this, and I'm gonna show you what it turns out to be. I'm using the Tresemme 24 hour volume shampoo and conditioner, a microfiber towel, which I got from Beaver Curl. It's really great for drying hair, because it doesn't take away the moisture. Of course, I'm gonna use my Dew Grow, because as I mentioned in the video I have before, it do what it do, it do grow. And I'm gonna lock it all in with some olive oil deep conditioning spray. And my other thing, is I tend to use a specific beard shampoo and conditioner when I let my beard grow out. And of course I don't have any. So we're gonna use a very light amount of regular shampoo. And afterwards, I'm gonna use this tea tree brisk beard oil to moisturize it, give it a nice luster and condition it a little bit. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna try to shampoo and condition this mess. I shampoo of course, and then when I condition, I like to run through and comb through with my fingers instead of using a brush or a comb. And then after I comb through with my fingers, I use a wide tooth comb to get out the rest of the knots. So we're gonna detangle, wash, come out, and on camera we'll dry and try these products to see how it looks after. So I'll see you guys in a minute. One hour later. Ooh, all right, I feel refreshed. I'm letting the hair dry a little bit because when I put this product in, I don't want it to be too drenched. Because I ran out of face wash, I used jabon de guava to like alleviate the redness in my face. I don't know if you could see it cause of the light earlier, but it's there's a lot less redness now. Jabon de guava is a Dominican soap. You can get it at the bodega. It comes in a pack of two. You can even wash your damn clothes with it. It's epic. So while I'm letting this dry, I'm gonna use the Aveeno Ultra Calm Calming Daily Radiance. This really helps calm my skin cause I have sensitive skin. It gets really red, but it also adds like this glow and this radiance to it. So we give it a pump, set it on my face set it in, get it into the pores and get that moisture and that radiant glow. Now, while I'm doing this, I will say, this whole shower took me like 45 minutes. 25 to 30 of those minutes was me detangling this hair. And I think it's really funny because I have a lot of um, friends who are like, oh, invite me out, go somewhere. They have fine hair. It's just like, you know, whatever. And they're always like, oh, Tony's gonna take like three hours to get here, which is true, I'm always late. But <laughs> to be fair, one to two, one and a half of those hours is this. Especially because I don't detangle it enough, I feel like, and I don't wrap my hair enough. What I'm adding now, this is like my top layer. It's a Nivea uh, cream. I personally like it for my face. It helps keep it moisturized without overdoing it. This one I will smear on. I don't know if this helps, but I don't care. I pull back here to try to prevent those crow's feet, giving myself a little fake facelift every day. <laughs> <laughs> Get in little crevices of my nose because it's super dry in there. Get my tea. Now, like I said, I am out of most of the stuff from my beard. But while we're letting this hair dry up top, I might as well add a little bit of tea tree oil. Tea tree, tea tree, tea tree oil. So I can add some luster. Oh my God, there's no barbershop, no beauty salons. This is crazy. Fucking lockdown. It runs really hot in my room. So the cap actually melted and it's like a rubber cap. So like a sticky residue gets everywhere now. This is gonna do like a drop or two because it's not super thick right now. Maybe three, that. Ooh, oh, the nobody just fell. King Mickey knocked his ass down. You better. Kingdom Hearts ain't playing no games. Oh my God, it smells amazing too. Mm, so good. I'm pale as hell. I look like a white person. Now it's time to check up top and start adding the final pieces. Let's see how these curls came out after this detangling. Now, because again, normally I wouldn't recommend you doing this with a regular towel because it might dread up your hair and lock it in a certain way, but this is a microfiber towel, so it's not gonna reduce too much, too much of the moisture in the hair. See, it's still gonna give you those curls. They're still gonna look refreshed and look really, really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to retain this freshness for a while while feeding my hair. So I'm gonna actually use Dugro 
first, I'm actually going to use them together, but I'm going to take some Dugro. And Dugro is like that food for your hair. It's going to be a little gunky. It's going to stick to your hands pretty easily. Here's my Dugro. I'm just going to crunch in a little bit to some of the hair. Make sure you get into the roots as well. Mm. And on that scalp so that it's very nourished. Next, I'm going to add the olive oil conditioning spray. And this is Palmer's Olive Oil Formula. Let's see. And I'm gonna spray it on my hand, I'm spraying it on my hair. One, two, because I already have the Dubro on it. A little bit more luster. Sheen, shine, hydration. And luckily, I'm not getting like drenched everywhere because my hair is nice and dry without losing too much moisture. So I can still work this product in nicely. Thank you, microfiber towel. Now, my little ringlet curls are back. My hair doesn't look like Sora's hair. <laughs> Let it dry a little bit more. And I can actually just wear this hair out. Not that I could go anywhere to wear this hair out too. Ooh, I kind of have like that. Oh, I just came out of the beach, so my hair was just wet. Look. <laughs> now it's curly, fun, bouncy, easier to manage, and this should last me a few days. It would last me longer if I had a head wrap. Probably by in two days, I'll be like dreaded and hot mess like and looking like Sora all over again. Now, because of the way that I cut my hair last time, you're gonna see that. These characters are attacking. Because of how I cut my hair last time, you're gonna see that the sides of my hair still stick up a little bit. That's because I had the sides shaving down in the back and it was poofed up, of course, in the front. So now that it's growing back out, it's gonna look like I have a whole mountain on either side because the hair underneath is short and just sticking out. That has more to do with my haircut, less to do with my technique for doing my hair. If you haven't cut your hair in a funky manner, it of course would just lay down better. Even when I record though, I still like, and I use my regular hair, I still use that hairstyle that I made. What I do <laughs> is I take my hat and I put it through and in the back I pin the back of my hair. So it still looks like I have my hair cut when it's pinned back, right, and coming out through the front. This is essentially what my hair would look like, which is why the, the sides are so weird. But since we can't go to a barber or a salon, this is how I make the illusion of that same haircut. <laughs> it's super easy, you just gotta clip, boom, done. Looks like it's cut on the sides, but it's not. Oh my, I feel refreshed. My hair feels refreshed, it's moving, it's bouncy, it's lustrous, it's flowing free. The Tresemme 24 hour volume is fantastic, but really, do grow, definitely helps your hair grow faster. Uh, the olive oil is so nutritious, it makes your hair so vibrant, and it actually makes it easy to manage down the line, like while you're rocking this hairstyle, so I love it. This is um me dropping everything. And this is Palmer's olive oil formula works really well my cousin gave this one to me it's freaking fantastic uh, i used do grow as the base to give the hair a little bit of nutrients for my face i used jabon de guava look it up with the dominican soap it's really cool and then i had the avena ultra calming daily moisturizer with some radiance in it and my Nivea face cream to kind of lock everything in. Some people may not like the Nivea face cream. It can sit a little heavy. So if your pores get clogged easily, I probably wouldn't use the Nivea. I would just go for the Aveeno Ultra Radiant. Now, sorry for the TP again. As you guys know, my lid is melted because, uh, yeah. <laughs> because my room is too hot. Like, look at, like, it's literally melt. Like, look at that. This is crazy. Okay, this is crazy. All right, enough. Can we, like, stop? Beard oil. Tea tree by Brisk. Works great, smells great, feels great, feels refreshing. Gives a nice shine, a nice luster to it. Especially since we can't really do much with our beards or anything else right now. Give it a little, give it a little look, unless you shave completely, which I do sometimes, but I don't let it grow out. We're in quarantine, we're on lockdown. Might as well look the part, right, bitch? <laughs> Y'all, that was me getting rid of quarantine hair. I don't want to hear no fine, thin-haired bitch coming out to me talking about, oh my god, it took me 20 minutes to do my hair. Bitch, it takes me like an hour, hour and a half to do this damn hair. And that's just to have it look normal, not to actually do it or create a style. Imagine that we were blow drying it and styling it up and making it, no, it's a damn, it's a chore, okay? <laughs> so any of your brown friends or anyone with kinky curly hair that you see, if they're taking a long time, give them the damn time. We don't have many options, and I'm not coming out with half dreaded hair, half curly hair, half matted hair, looking like motherfucking Sora. Like I said earlier, I don't want to look 
like that because that looks crazy although it looks really good on Sora y'all smash like smash subscribe comment below let me know what you think of the video what else you want to see ring that bell have a great day stay up stay lifted stay positive they can't bring us down because we're popping <laughs> Tea tree oil. Tea tree, tea tree, tea tree oil.